What's up, gang? What's the deal? Everybody doing all right? I hope everybody good. Nah, what's up, man? It's your boy Heavy, and I'm back with another damn video. Let's go. All right, man. I appreciate everybody tuning in. I know it's kind of early, and I normally post videos late at night. I don't know why. I think it's because I'll be trying to edit videos and. I'm not that good at it, so it just, I'm learning. Like, it takes a while. I'm getting better and better, but I haven't perfected it. So, editing videos takes like two hours for me to edit like a 30, 40 minute video. So, that's part of what's holding me up. Uh, but I am getting better every day, so thank you for rocking with me. And everybody, just, just keep rocking with me, man. Keep subscribing, keep commenting, liking things, and hitting that post notification uh, bell please and and thank you for real because y'all are what's about to make this a, a success for me so um i just want to start out by saying thank you uh i do have something to show you guys today i'm gonna start off by showing you guys um or introducing a new car to the channel it's not a new car i've been having this car i just can't keep them all at the house um i got a single car garage and thankfully my dad has like a little shop a toy box is what i call it but my dad has a shop where um, he keeps a lot of his toys and different things like that. So I'm able to keep the, like Blue Strip, I'm able to keep the Camaro over there at Pop Shop on the lift. I'll probably take you guys by there to see it. Um, and that's where I keep the CTSV is over there at the lift, or I'm sorry, on the lift. So um, I did get a chance to pull it out today because I'm taking it to get an alignment. Uh, I'm tired of driving it, holding the steering wheel kind of crooked. I ended up, um, changing the control arm. I changed the lower control arm about three months ago and never got the alignment. I, I mean, I didn't really drive it after that. I changed it and yeah, I parked it because I had just got the Escalade and I just ended up driving the Escalade. I was into the beat and the 218s I put in there. So um, I just kind of let the Cadillac sit basically, long story short. So it's warming up outside, man. I'm hearing exhaust pipes. I'm hearing motorcycles. I'm hearing everything now so I'm, I'm excited to kind of get back in it you know what i mean it's cam headers full exhaust tune um making about 650 horses to the wheels it's it's hot it's hot for real one thing i really love about this car is how um how it um it takes off like bro when you step on the gas that motherfucker, this car will literally burn rubber until you take your foot off the pedal, like a Hellcat. Like, them the only two cars I see doing that. It's these CTSVs and these Hellcats. Like, literally, you can smoke the block just by stepping on it at the light. I'm like, damn, it didn't stop smoking until I got off the pedal. So, yeah, I just want y'all to be able to see it and, uh, you know, ride with me while I go get this alignment. I do gotta make another stop first. We're gonna stop by the daycare and drop my baby girl off. And yeah, then we're gonna get that alignment. So stick around.
up today. That's why we want to get an alignment. I gotta see, you know, what all I need to do to this thing. Cause it sits a lot. But then when I drive it, I drive it hard. I ain't gonna lie, so that means you gotta do hard maintenance. Gotta get that fender right here. Got a little, you know, a little love dent. That happened at the shop, guys, believe it or not. That's why I hate, you know, stuffing all the cars in there sometimes. Cause it's a big ass pole in there. And if you're not careful, you can like get too close to it. So yeah, that's what happened. I also want to mention 
if you haven't noticed, man, we late to the alarming shop. <laughs> I was supposed to be there at nine o'clock. It's 8.57 and I'm like seven minutes away uh, if I step on it. So yeah, but it's traffic, it's early in the morning. You know, don't nobody work a job no more. So shoot, look at this, man. This is so ugly. Holding a steering wheel crooked to go straight. Shit blows the hell out of me. I can't even roll like that. It's not my style. So I won't. To, hopefully this alignment when I get here, hopefully they get me right. And hopefully it only take 30, 40 minutes like he said on the phone. Because he offered me to drop it off. But I'm like, nah, man, I need the content. Let me, let me come sit and watch so that I can record. So, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to give y'all what I think y'all want to see, man. Just trying to give y'all what I think y'all might want to see.
All right, guys, so he kicked me out the shop, well, out of the work area. So I'm over here waiting while they finish up this alarm and check them out. He made me stand behind the chain right here, but I found a chair, so I'm good. He got me a little chair, I'll check that out. I just realized I got some music going in here, so I'm going to, um, cut this one short, but I just wanted to cut it up.
top speed, but everybody race on 150, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> nah, let me chill, let me chill, let me chill. Yeah, y'all hear it, man. It got too windy. My hat almost flew out the window. Yo, I really like this hat. I lost my last hat on some weird stuff. Don't know what happened to my, my black KC hat, but I don't want to lose the red one. I already got to go to Lids and get another black one, so... But I am gonna crack these windows because the car sounds so good. Hold on. Ooh. I think the, the the transmission is tuned too. That's why it rock like that. When you step on it, it'd be like, alright. It'd be like, this is what you wanna do? <laughs> That's why I love this car. The tire shop in like <laughs> I don't even know. It's on 135th in Kansas though. That's a 30 minute drive. My GPS says we're 14 minutes away. So I guess it wasn't a 30 minute drive there because I wasn't going that fast. I ain't gonna lie though, man. I'm about to uh before I park this car, one thing that I, I do want to do is check the oil. I changed it last month, but these LS motors are sensitive, man. They they um they burn a lot of oil. Like you can look up and you half a quart low, like or a, a quart low. Hope not ever a quart low, but you gotta pay attention to these LS motors. This is the second one in this car, and uh, I feel like it's 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 that's why it's so hot. That's why we built it because we had to replace the motor anyway. So we went with the Texas Speed bottom end. And um, as a matter of fact, it was just a Texas Speed crate motor. And then we went with the cam, the headers, and the tone. I think that's it. We didn't even touch the heads. The guy who built the car, he's amazing. He got a, um, a Escalade V. And he cammed it and took apart the all-wheel drive and did a burnout. I was like, oh, he cold. He cold-blooded. You know how much of I don't care you gotta have in you to take apart a brand new Escalade V and turn it into rear wheel drive and burn out? He did that. He did that. I ain't gonna lie, he did that. But yeah, though, the guy that built this car was telling me that this car would need to get more fuel to make it faster. And I'm like, wow, like, it's already so fast. Like, I don't know. I done been playing with Hellcats and everything. Like, I've had a ball in this car. Like, I don't really feel like faster is safer. Like, I'm going to have to trailer it and go to the track and all that other stuff. Get a parachute. Like, slicks. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I like to burn rubber and come through skating. But if you put some slicks on there, you ain't going to be able to skate as much. So, you're going to be like, man, I got to go race. Like, bro, racing ain't that fun to me. It's fun. Like, on the highway, like, beating somebody. Racing a regular car is fun. But... When you build your car against another built car, y'all at the track with parachutes, and it, it ain't that fun. I'd rather just speed on the streets and race on the streets and, you know, and daily drive my car. Like, I, I like practicality. So, yeah, I just, I don't know about the racing, but a street build, that's for me. Like, just street tires with a lot of horses and a nice sound system. And a nice exhaust system. 
that's the type of stuff that goes with me. Wheels and paint, psh, can't tell me nothing. And I'll sacrifice, like I ain't gotta have it all. Like, you know what I mean? Like we ain't gotta have the sound system right away. You know what I mean? Every car don't need a sound system. Like this one right here is fine, honestly, for what I do. You can turn it up, it's nice and loud, it's got Bluetooth, that's cool. But the old schools, the blue strip, my Escalade, different cars like that, I want the highs and the bass rocking or whatever. So, you know, I just, it's a car thing. It just depends on which car you are actually dealing with. It's kind of depends. So this one, this one is honestly set up perfectly in my opinion. I don't want to add a second fuel pump, like he said, to allow it to get more fuel to make it faster. I mean, maybe one day, actually. I take that back. Maybe one day. Like, faster is always better. But, shoot, I had to take a couple losses first. Like, somebody had to come whoop my ass in this. You know, they got to line them up and show me. Do that a few times. And, yeah, maybe then I would change my thought process. But, honestly, I love this car. Uh, I had a vet before this. And the vet was a lot of fun, too. I really did love that car, too. Um, they both just got that distinct takeoff, you know. I used to say for a while, like, I think my vet could keep up with the Cadillac or beat the Cadillac, but I really don't know. I was just talking stuff, though, because I can't hear the supercharger. My friend's got the same car, the same CTSV, and when he step on it, all you hear is that supercharger screaming and crying and whining. And I used to, you know, I used to feel like, man, why mine don't never scream? Like, I know it's hooked up. I know it's working, but I want to hear this mug whine. So that would be an upgrade that I probably do to this car way before I make it faster. I'll probably go port the blower and change the intake so that I can hear that uh, supercharger whine. That's, that's really more fun. You know what I'm saying? So I'm more for show with, <laughs> with that, with this car. Like, it's, it's fast. It's fun, but you can't race 24-7. But you can step on it and let that that motherfucker let the car whine. You can do that as much as you want, and everybody's gonna be looking over like, "Wow, that sound like a Hellcat." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, Cadillacs get down too." That's what I, you know, what I mean, that's all I'm saying. Cadillacs get down too. Let me see how far away. We five minutes away. Yeah, I was moving and grooving. All right, I'm gonna. Um, tap in once we get in the shop. Alright, boom. We had Casey Trans. They're the ones that fixed this ring for me. It's all coming back to me now. So, they fixed the passenger wheel for me because we hit a pothole and it was super, super bent. Like, they did a great job, but nobody put the tire sensor back in. So, yeah. I'm just feeling like getting all the lights off my, bit, off my car today. Feeling like getting all the lights off the dub. So, I'm gonna go ahead and see how much a tire sensor is. I know they gotta program the car. Part of the reason I didn't get the sensor last time is because I always take the wheel off the car and bring it up here. Yeah, they got the best wheels in the city here. If you want some 4Gs, you want some Ruchis, you want anything Dayton's, they get them here. They get them here. And they got the CA-06 over there. Ooh. These ten thousand dollar wheels right here. With the gold stamps. I want some rose gold Dayton's for my pops regal. How you guys doing? I'm pretty good. I'm gonna check this car out. Look at that. Z06. This is Chad's car. That's the owner. We got that Z06 just sitting there. This car is so bad. So bad. He always keeps some pressure just sitting here. But he don't drive. I'm sure his driveway at home look crazy. And it's got to be like the 3LT fully loaded. It's carbon fiber and red everywhere. And it's a convertible. This mug is bad. I'm 
man, look at the wheels, man. He went with 22s on the back. It's bad. It's a bad car, boy. There it is, man. Get that tire off. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. So, yeah, man. I'm looking forward to no lights on the dash and just cruising it home. Um, next thing I'm going to do is order this fender. I'm tired of this little beauty mark right here. I'm going to order that. And, uh, that's it. Eventually, I want to get a paint job. We used to store stuff on it. But get a paint job. Get a paint job, and we'll be good to go. What's your name, bro? Turn it up. Turn it up. Teasing me, they like, bro, your tires are bald as hell. So I went with the Continentals while I'm here. to the house finally and um, like I was telling y'all earlier I got a few more things I need to do today uh, the escalator is going to be out the shop and ready for me to pick that up I'm going to give Pops his truck back because that mug is a gas guzzler so I'm going to get that back I'm going to hop in the escalator which somehow it burns less gas I don't know why or how but I really miss the escalator I'm telling you like, Daily in that truck is different. The windows ain't dark enough. My baby be like, the sun, the sun. Sun all in her eyes. I don't want to tint the windows on that because Pops, shoot, he don't like all them dark tinted windows like me. See, I tint the windshield. Good tinted windshield. Your child is you still getting the eyebrow. <laughs> but yeah, though, uh, that is going to conclude this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching and um, stick around.
I got some more footage coming. Like I said, I'm going to be picking up that Escalade. Um, showing you guys all about that and the 18s I put in there. I got a crazy sound system in there. Uh, mids and highs, that's all done. It's loud. So we probably going to set off some car alarms later today because I'm going to be happy that my, my truck is back. Good motor under warranty. So stick around for that video and like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my Instagram too at Heavy Motivation one um, I post a lot of stuff on there, cool clips that I can't post on YouTube because sometimes it has music or different things. But yeah, definitely tap into my Instagram, Heavy Motivation One, because I'm on there. I'm active, and, and that's where you're going to see the raffles and different things once I start doing that. All right, peace.